I don't know what other words to say about that Netflix docuseries, Sins of Our Mother, except that lady is fucked up. And man, whoever that cat is that convinces her to use her brother to... Oh, shit. Sins of Our Mother on Netflix. That documentary is going to blow your mind. I guarantee you. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. It is week number seven with Kendrick, your professor of gratitude. Because every day I slide in here with this gratitude journal and I'm reminding y'all to write down these stories. These stories of gratitude. Write down why you are grateful. That way you'll have less negative thoughts, more positive thoughts. This is how you become a better teacher, a better parent, a better spouse. This is how you learn to manage those thoughts of abandonment, of chronic illness, and of your physical limitations. Get a gratitude journal and let's go. Thursday, Thursday, day number 43 brings us National Coffee and Biscotti Day. National Coffee and Biscotti Day and biscottis are the little hard, hard cookies. And you lay them over a hot coffee and the steam from the hot coffee softens up the cookie and boom, you got a coffee and a biscotti. Wow. That's what today is, National Coffee and Biscotti Day. No, I don't do biscottis. I'm pretty much like y'all. I do not do biscottis. My father is huge into it. I don't do coffee either. But what I will do, my queen taught me many, 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 many moons ago. You take that Bailey's and you add that Bailey's, that Kahlua stuff to your coffee. Shoot, man, suddenly you got something better than even Starbucks by adding that Bailey's to it. So National Coffee and Biscotti Day, y'all do your thing, get your coffee, enjoy yourselves. Let's go. So I got four gratitudes for y'all today. I'm bringing y'all four gratitudes all throughout week number seven. Why four instead of three? I don't know. I just I just felt extra crunk this week. So kicking out this, y'all realize that we start our weeks on Thursdays, not Sundays. Wow. That's the lesson I wanted to go ahead and pop up and just interject right quick because it's not supposed to matter when you start your gratitude journal. A Wednesday, a Thursday, a Saturday, a Monday, whenever. You do this whenever you find time to put yourself in a better spot, a better mood, a better way of thinking. And that's when you start writing down what you're grateful for. We kick this whole thing off on a Thursday, man. So we're going to keep it on a Thursday. Does that mean the next one kicks off? And I don't, never mind. Let's not even go there. My first gratitude. I got my very first referral. And that was a serious affirmation. Clap, clap, snap, snap. Somebody actually liked me so much that they told others to spend money on me. Even told them about my spirit and how much energy I have. You got to clap for that, man. You got to snap for that. Stuff like that should lighten up your mood. Whenever those affirmations come in, stop, dog. When those affirmations are handed to you, stop, sis and write that affirmation down. I guarantee you there will be times with these kids, with these bills, with these injuries, with whatever you're dealing with, that you're gonna need that affirmation to remind you of how good you are and how well you made others feel. Hell yeah. Gratitude number two. That pdfjoiner.com website. I got a lot of my work submitted had to get around using the the file size got too big because I was sending too many pictures. Use PDF Joiner, combine all the pictures, send it as one file. Yo, man, I needed that one. I needed that one. That was a hell of a win for your boy because I just couldn't take sending all these different emails. I did not want to send seven or eight different emails. That is not professional at all. So I used the PDF Joiner, no change, no money, all free joint everything into one. I do the same thing with PDF documents because that's why it's called a PDF joiner. But you combine everything into one and that's how you get around some of the file size type of stuff. 
Yeah, good stuff. I know. You're welcome. Gratitude number three. The wife and the kids have put Halloween decor all over the oh. house. And I'm grateful for that because it changes the atmosphere and it inspires goofing off. Me and them. Good stuff, huh? That's the gratitude that they put the Halloween decor up. You know, I can't help put up Halloween decor. I'm in this wheelchair. I can't do that, any of that shit. I can play music while you're doing it. I can do the DJ type thing, try to crack a few jokes. But no, I'm not I'm not getting up, not twisting up, not helping anything up, not holding shit. None of that. None of that. And it is cool, man. We got pumpkins all of the all of the dining room table, the way the stuff hangs from, from the ceiling inside the house. Not out here in the garage. But it's not even really a garage anymore. This is my studio. And I'm fixing up a studio my damn self. Last gratitude. Gratitude number four. I actually got a lunch date in with the wife. First one in two months. And we both do work from home. So having a lunch date with her, that was good for my heart, man. You have no idea that was great for my damn new heart. It made me feel like I'm still pretty. I get worried about that, man. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I get worried about that still being pretty, still being found attractive, still being sexy with three, sexy with three X's. Yeah, that's all me. I'm, I'm, I am all the way Scorpio. So a lunch date, great shit, great shit. We watched um, the thing on Netflix about the about the mom. Serious. I'll tell you about that later. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. A thousand thank yous for rocking with me as we kick off week number seven. Gratitude journals for educators. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.